Hey guys, for sure start here. In today's video, we're going to show you how to fix this common issue where when you're trying to download the latest version of the software update on your iPhone, it might say that it is paused or it will resume later. So essentially, you get an error message just like this where it says resume download. Now, there could be multiple reasons for this error, but it's a quick and easy fix by following these troubleshooting steps. And it might work for you depending on what the problem is. So we'll go through all of the steps that you need to know. So the first thing, whenever you see this, it's most likely related to your internet connection. So if you're using uh, data, cellular data to do a download and your Wi-Fi is grayed out, make sure you turn on your Wi-Fi and that Wi-Fi signal is strong. So that's the first thing you want to do. The next thing you want to do along with that is also go ahead and turn on and off airplane mode, which sort of resets the actual phone's connectivity. So what you do is turn on airplane mode just like that from your top menu here. So that's the menu we have. And then turn it back off. You can also go into settings and then in settings you'll see right up top here airplane mode on. It's a airplane mode is on basically just refreshing the network here and then turn it off one more time and hopefully that does the trick for you. Now if you're still seeing that resume download or download is paused now we can do the next step which it's going to be doing is a force restart. So on iPhone 8 and above, what you'll do to do a force restart is you're gonna press and release the volume up and then volume down and then hold the side button on your right hand side. Now, if for some reason Siri activates, that means you didn't press the volume up and down quick enough. Just try it one more time. And you're gonna keep on holding that side button until you see the Apple logo appear and let it go again. It was just simply up and down volume up, volume down, and then we hold this big side button till we see the Apple logo reappear without turning it off ourselves. The phone automatically force restarts the phone and this generally fixes good 95% of software related issues and it's a go-to troubleshooting step. And we're back to the main screen, ready to go. And now if you're still having the issue where you're not able to download, the next thing you wanna check is going to settings and this time you're going to go to general and we're going to go ahead and check our date and time so you notice your date and time it sort of doesn't make sense but it really makes sense when it comes to doing downloads from the internet the time here has to match your local time so for some reason if you're traveling or something or somehow this time got messed up make sure that time matches your local time now what you can do is let the phone automatically pick it up if it's turned off but you can also manually set it as well. Usually automatically is the best way to do it, but for some reason if automatically isn't working, just go ahead and set it manually, but make sure that time is correct. And go ahead and uh, do one more time. This time we're gonna go ahead and turn off the phone. And to turn off the phone on this iPhone 13 Pro here, all you do is vol hold the volume up and then the side button at the same time, you're gonna keep on holding and then slide it to power off. And then once it powers off, you just hold this big side button to power back on. And that should hopefully fix your issue. Now, if you're still having the issue, the next thing to go ahead and check is the iPhone storage to make sure that you actually have enough storage to download the software. To do that, go into settings. And then what you want to do is go to general. And then you'll look for iPhone storage right here. Now, up top here, you'll see that this phone has quite a lot of storage left. There's 12 gig use out of 128 gig. But for some reason, let's say you are up to the max capacity, you need to delete some stuff. Generally, start off with some videos. V videos are usually longer. Photos, unwanted apps. But find ways to clear your phone. And it will also give you recommendation here. We don't have enough stuff here. Then but it will also give you that. The other thing you wanna check down here is iOS here. When you click on iOS here, you should see here the version that you're currently on, make sure that is available for you. So good thing to always check your phone has enough storage to do things. Now, the next thing you wanna do is if you still can't get the update to download and still being paused and just stuck on that resume option is actually using itunes to do the update so you'll need a computer connected to there and then put the phone in dfu mode uh, simply by holding the vault the 
power button and then doing uh, the volume up button and then connect it to the computer, it will pretty much walk you through a software update, which again is pretty straightforward to go through. We discuss in another video. Lastly, even if that isn't working or somehow you couldn't connect to a computer or don't have a computer, the next thing you can do is do sort of last resort is reset in resetting all the settings on your phone. So you go to settings and this time we'll go to settings here, but go to general and then scroll all the way down where it's transfer or reset iPhone. Now this is on iOS 15. You might be something different like a reset option if you're an older version of the iOS. Click on that and then you'll see the option for reset here. Do not do erase all content or setting because that will delete everything on your phone like your photos, videos, apps. You don't want to do that. You want to do just the reset option and this time you'll do that reset all settings. But before you do that, note that when you reset all settings, it will reset and delete all of your custom settings, not your photo, video, apps, or media, anything like that. Just the settings of the phone, like Wi-Fi setting, if you had VPN settings, and if you have password saved, you also lose that. Things like that will be gone from your phone and you have to set those things up again. But none of your data and photos, medias will be deleted. And this time, hopefully, a lot your phone if you go back into general software update, this time it allows you to actually download the update you're looking to download. So hopefully one of these methods that we discussed help you be able to download the software that you need. And if this video is helpful, please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.